This is amazing. This is the future. Hello. Today we're in a very special location. We're an hour north of Shanghai at a factory in Changzhou. And we're here to see a company that makes almost a million electric bikes per year. We're gonna see the whole process from building it together to quality to testing them. Now, this company has only been around for a few years, but they're becoming a part of the whole overall transport solution for cities. It's not just cars, it's not just buses, but it's bikes as well. We're at the new factory and this is fully charged. Don't forget to subscribe and enter to be in the chance to win in our great EV giveaway, where you could win one of four electric cars. Good, isn't it? So how do you get to a million bikes a year? Well, you start here. You have 7,000 bikes in this room. It's like Indiana Jones in here. But new are, have only been around since about 2014, 2016 in Europe. And they're in about 46 countries globally. In China, they've got over 1,600 stores. Now, in this room, about 5,000 of these bikes will be shipped out today. So this whole room will almost be cleared out, ready for the next lot. What time's our train? Why is it in water? So here we are in the quality testing lab. Now, I haven't seen any of these on my other travels, but here, we're seeing exactly how all of the components work in different conditions. The first one I want to point out is this. They've got the buttons on the um, handlebars, but they're underwater, because obviously these travel in all conditions, rainy conditions, snowy conditions, and they have to be tested to see if they're waterproof. So this machine is just pressing that button backwards and forwards thousands of times underneath water to make sure it's up to standard. Now there's some other things in here which are very interesting as well. There's a rattle test here for the, uh, the keys and the, 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 the charging system to make sure it doesn't all fall apart. That's rattling very, very fast at the moment. Um, and then if you come a bit further down here, these tests like the speed and the, the wheel alignment as well. Um, but the, what I want to show you down here is, is the battery because that's, that's the interesting part here. So this is the, the battery testing module here. They've got individual cells in here from their bikes and they're charging and discharging, charging and discharging about 800 to 1,000 times to make sure the batteries are up to spec and don't lose too much charge. But that's not the only battery test here. The other battery test that they're doing is over here, which is the heating and humidity. So they're just testing exactly how the battery is performing extreme hot, extreme heat and extreme cold. So this machine gets hot, gets cold, hot, cold, hot, cold, non-stop. So it puts up the batteries under a lot of strain and stress. And then they also have another couple of machines um, to experiment with water in the batteries to make sure they don't explode and there's no issues there at all. They do a variety of other tests in here. Um, on the other side, they're testing the, the flexibility of the frame, they're testing the speed, they're testing the durability of the bike as well. So here we are in the factory space of new and it's like a car factory but shrunk. Everything's very condensed and um, like very close together because obviously the bikes are not that big. So this is quite an interesting layout. They've got three lines here producing three different bikes. They're three main bikes uh, for both China and export markets. And I apologize if it's a little bit noisy. 
But over here we have the steel frames of the bike um, and that is where the bike really starts its life. Those are manufactured just somewhere else in the factory. But that's the raw frame and they get prepared, ready to have all the components put on it. A lot simpler than manufacturing a car. On this side, we have the team putting together all of the, the components, such as the shell, uh, the wheels, and some of the uh, electrical components. Now, interestingly, these go down there as one line, come up here, and then they join the frames a bit further down over here. So both lines converge together, and they go down there, and that's it, and they get tested at the end of the line. Very quick process. Uh, and in fact, they have about 400 workers here, and they produce around 4,000 bikes per day. So it's a very, very busy factory. And this is the parts assembly that I just spoke about. So here you'll see the handlebars, some of the cladding, uh, some of the badges are all uh, on here, ready to be mated to the frame further down the line. Now it takes around about an hour and a half to produce each bike, which is pretty quick. Uh, but it can take uh, as little as one hour for maybe some of the simpler bikes that they're producing. I think that some of the export bikes, it takes a little bit longer because they're a little bit more complex. But fascinating process, completely different from cars, and just so, so much more hands-on than a car manufacturing. Very, very interesting. So we're in the showroom of New, and we're just gonna see some of the models that they are producing and are gonna produce in the future. They've got a few concepts in here as well, and we're gonna get a very lucky ride on one of these bikes a little bit later on. So this is actually their original model. This is the NGT. This was released about 2014, 2015, uh, and this is very popular in both Europe and the US. Now, next to it is this, which is a concept. I think this was released at CES uh, a couple of years ago. Unfortunately, this isn't uh, ready for manufacture yet, but they're beginning to think about the, the wider range of transport solutions for the city. So this is much more for like a taxi bike. As you can see, it's got a very comfortable back seat, so you can just jump on, uh, drive along. It's got uh, the two wheels at the front and the one wheel at the back to, to increase the stability when you're driving around the city. I imagine this would have a much bigger battery pack, and then you've got the protection from the rain as well. Now, the most exciting bike here is this one behind me. So they don't just do mopeds anymore. This is a proper sports bike. This is the RQI Pro and fully charged. Us, we're gonna be the first people ever to drive this outside of new. So we're really excited to get on this later. Um, I think it has about 110, 120, 120 kilometers of range. The specs haven't really been released yet because this is not production ready. So it's kind of like a prototype, but they're hoping to bring it into production very, very soon. It looks amazing. I can't wait to drive this. now. If we come over here, we've got the Gova model. This is very, very cheap. This is quite low priced for China. It's around about 3000 RMB. Um, and it's meant for cities like Shanghai, which have quite strict regulations in terms of headlight height, um, rear headlight light, the wheel size and, and things like that. So this is a legal scooter for Shanghai. So this is the how they transport all the goods in the factory. They use modified scooters of their own. As you can see, this actually has four wheels. So it's got two wheels on the side for stability. And I can carry all of the components around the factory. A brilliant way of using their products in the factory and a great way of um, getting things across to different areas. Absolutely brilliant. This is great fun. Now behind me, you're gonna see the bike coming together. So the frame has come along, uh, the components are coming off the moving shelves on the other side, and it's all being put together. Now, it looks quite naked at this stage, uh, the bike, but it's actually only about 20 to 30 minutes from being finished uh, and being checked and then going on the road. As you can see, there's about three or four people at each station, and they're all drilling and making sure all the components are on the bikes properly. It's such a fascinating pro uh, process, and I'm really surprised just how fast it's happening. These guys are churning through bikes, moving on to the next one. And in a minute, we're gonna see the finished product.
new uh, begin to think uh, both high end and towards the bikes uh, end of the market. And this is another model that they're going to bring out this year. Uh, this is the Aero. As you can see, it's kind of like a, a mountain bike, but with a battery. Um, and this is for the European markets. This probably won't be released in China, but it's just for overseas. So here we have the Aero. As you can see, I've got my helmet on. We're going to take this for, the, uh, for a spin. Um, I'm really excited about driving this because unfortunately it's not going to be sold in Shanghai, but it's going to be sold in Europe. So for everyone who's watching from Europe, look out for this, I think this summer. Um, it's got a replaceable battery in here, uh, which can be taken out. It's just like my, my own new bike battery. Um, so I'll, I'll stop talking and we can get moving. So let's get on there. So it's pedal assisted electric. Put this, that up and then we can get going. Ah, there we go. Oh, that's pretty rapid. <laughs> I'm going faster than you guys. So if I go a bit faster, it gives me a bit more assistance. It's got the classic new circular headlight on the front here. And we see the factory workers behind me coming back from lunch. I'm doing about 18 kilometers an hour around the factory. It's very, very easy to ride. So simple and I think it can get up to a pretty decent speed as well. Let's see. Oh, there's a big truck coming as well. This is very, very simple. <laughs> Super easy. Effortlessly cruising along. I think this has about a 50 kilometer range. So get you around a city and probably back home again. And you're doing a bit of exercise at the same time. If you live in a hilly city, I think this would be very, very useful. So this bike is built for practicality and European cities. So it's got a few things uh, on this bike that I think are quite nice features. So at the back, you've got these two bags, which are waterproof. Uh, you can store all of your stuff in there if you go shopping. A proper uh, rack at the back here, which actually feels very strong. Yeah. Suspension, because obviously not every road is smooth like this factory road. And then you've got another space at the front here for uh, a basket if you want. Now there's a couple of neat little features on here. Um, the first is you've got a key, so you start it like a traditional bike, plug it in, turn it on, um, and you can open this and replace the battery. So you can take the battery out, put it back in, you can take it up to your apartment to charge it. It's not actually very heavy. I have one myself and I can charge it in my own apartment as well. So that's a good thing that, that my battery on my bike, which is a moped, is interchangeable with the battery on this bike as well. So you can get a series of the products from here, interchange the batteries very easily. I do have a LCD screen here, which tells my speed, uh, my battery, uh, I'm in sport mode at the moment, so a few uh, important things. And most importantly, it's got a bell. Let's see how fast I can go on this. Do you want to go a bit faster? Ready? You can go a bit faster and I'll try and keep up. Oh, it's got gears as well, so I can, ooh, change down. So I can get electric assistant on the top gears as well. 30 kilometers an hour, pretty fit, pretty fast. I'm a bit of out of breath as well. I'm going around the corner. And luckily I've got lots of storage space on the back for all of my bits. It's a very practical urban run around. Lovely. So here we are, we're at the end of the production line of the Gover model. And as you can see, they're coming up uh, pretty quickly. Um, behind me, we've got five bikes here, all in different colors, ready to go out to their customers next. Uh, this is where they get checked over, uh, just the, any defects, any paint uh, issues, and then they get shipped across into the warehouse. What I can't get over is just how simple, how fast, and how efficient this factory is, and how tiny it all is. It just seems like a very cute version of a car factory. What a fantastic way to spend the day. Now this is very exciting. This is the RQI and this is their electric motorcycle. This is still kind of a prototype. It's a working prototype but we're going to be the very first ones to actually drive this. Now we're not, obviously not going to go very far away in a car park in the factory grounds but look at it. This really shows news intentions and they're really beginning to develop into other areas 
outside of uh, the mopeds and bikes that they're doing now. Now there's not much I can tell you about this. Um, all, we, all we know is that the range is probably going to be around 110 to 130 kilometers. Maybe it's going to have the interchangeable battery. We just don't know at the moment. But what we do know is the feeling we're going to get when we drive it. Now I've, I've got the throttle open at a very small amount at the moment. We're already doing about 32 kilometers an hour. Now I'm not going to go too fast because obviously I don't have any protective gear on apart from the helmet. So there you go. And it's, it's in eco mode. It's not even in sports mode. Now we can really put it down. I'm just, I got grin from ear to ear. This is just so cool. Wow. I've never really driven a motorbike before. <laughs> this is amazing. The maneuverability of this is actually quite good for such a heavy bike. It's actually very easy to maneuver. Just at low speeds, it, it really begins to feel very heavy. But at this speed, Oh, amazing. So easy, just, there's no clutch, there's no fiddling about with your feet, it's just go. Go, go, go and keep going. Oh, I think that's enough, I think that's enough fun for today. So unfortunately that's all we've got time for. I hope you've enjoyed the factory tour uh, around new. We've seen a fascinating insight into how they make close to 1 million bikes a year which are both good quality and with lithium ion batteries on the inside. Um, it's just one part of the overall transportation solution and I'm glad there's a company that's taking it really seriously. We've got plenty more videos coming from China very soon, uh, hopefully a few more factory visits as well. They've got all the lovely links around this video, including YouTube memberships, Patreon, uh, and the subscribe button with the notification bell. So if you have been, thank you for watching.